This video forms part of a series of donning, doffing and fit testing of disposable P2 or N95 respirators using a beard cover technique in New South Wales healthcare settings. It's important to refer to the Clinical Excellence Commission's other resources on the use of respirators for general guidance. This video focuses on donning and doffing a beard cover using an elastic band. The elastic exercise resistance band, preferably made of non-latex material, should be approximately 15 centimetres wide by 50 centimetres long. It may be shorter or longer depending on the individual. Resistance bands come in different widths, strengths and colours. The band should be selected based on the size, thickness and width that's suitable for each individual face and any additional headwear that's required, such as a turban. A suitable width should cover the beard hair to the neck but be able to sit flat along the sides of the face or facial area where the respirator will sit to form the seal. It should also be long enough to enable a comfortable tie that will not come undone or move. Once a suitable band has been selected and a fit test has been passed, the same band width, length and type should be used whenever a respirator is required. Elastic bands can be cleaned, disinfected and reused by the same person. The bands can be considered for extended or sessional use. The rest of the personal protective equipment must be used based on the clinical care being provided. Perform hand hygiene. Now select the elastic band, ensuring it's the same size as the one used for your fit test. Use each hand to hold both ends of the elastic band. Pull the elastic band under your chin. Bring both ends to the top of your head and tie a double knot as seen here. Ensure that all facial hair on your chin, cheeks and neck are covered by the elastic band and does not cause restriction or discomfort around the eyes and mouth. Use a mirror or ask a donning buddy to check the fit of the elastic band. The band should be stretched under loose tension but not too tight to cause discomfort or restriction. The band must be smooth with no folds or wrinkles. If folds are present, you'll need to select a band with a narrower width. If wrinkles are present, then stretch out the band from the top to remove all wrinkles. Move your head back and forth, then up and down to make sure the band will not come undone, cause discomfort or move with head movement. Don a gown or apron based on the requirements for transmission-based precautions in your work area. Now select the respirator which has been fit tested and recommended for you. 
For further guidance on donning and fit checking of P2 or N95 respirators, refer to the Clinical Excellence Commission's video series, Donning and Fit Checking of Respirators in New South Wales Healthcare Settings. Don other PPE as per local guidelines and the task you'll be performing. Doff other PPE as per local guidelines. Remove your respirator and discard as per standard procedures. For further guidance on doffing of P2 or N95 respirators, refer to the Clinical Excellence Commission's video series. Now untie the elastic band. Clean and disinfect the elastic band using a dual-purpose Therapeutic Goods Administration approved cleaning disinfecting agent. You can also use a detergent solution or wipe to clean the reusable elastic band and then disinfect the elastic band with a manufacturer approved disinfectant. The elastic band must now be allowed to dry before storing. Now perform hand hygiene. Label a clean, sealable and disposable bag with the name of the health worker using the elastic band. Place the dried elastic band in the labelled bag, seal the bag and store for future use. Now perform hand hygiene. 